choice of entity, taxation of income problem one. Mango, an individual, has a marginal tax rate on ordinary income of 37%. He currently earns $100,000 per year ordinary income through a business operated as a sole proprietorship. If Mango does not require current cash from the business, calculate the potential decrease in his annual tax liability if he incorporates and operates the business through a C corporation. Assume the corporate tax rate is 21%. This question is real quick. My analysis is really quick, but it's very, very, very important. We've looked at the um, choice of entity and the effect of losses when you compare C corporations versus flow through entities like S corporations or partnerships. This is the effect of income. So right now, Mango is an individual. They have a business and it's a sole proprietorship. And sole proprietorship is a flow through entity, flow through entities, they flow through to the owner. So it's $100,000 per year of ordinary income, ordinary income, ordinary income. And Mango's rate is 37%. Now, if Mango does not require any type of distribution, which you have to worry about the accumulated earnings tax, personal holding companies tax, all these different special rules in terms of retaining your earnings and not paying it out. And a lot of technology companies, they've run into these issues, but it's possible to do it. You can have plans, you can do certain things, you can make sure that, ensure that you don't get hit with a um, accumulated earnings tax. Basically avoiding the second level of taxation. What if they, what if Mango op changed to a C corporation is the, is the issue here. So all we're gonna do here is, and I can show you this multiple ways. $100,000 per year is the is the profit or income received. If we multiply that by the 37% tax rate, which is what Mango Mango's tax rate, we have $37,000 in taxes. $37,000 in taxes, and that is if we continue being a sole proprietorship. So that's if we continue being a sole proprietorship. So sole proprietorship is just like an S corporation or a partnership where it flows through to the owner and it just flows through even if you don't receive money. Now, if we switch over to a C corporation and the tax rate, as we're told in the problem is 21%, we take the $100,000 profit, we multiply it by our 21% rate and we owe $21,000 in taxes. $21,000 in taxes. Now, of course you can see $21,000 is a lot less than $37,000. You prefer to be a C corporation. Of course, there's a lot more issues to consider here. The effects of losses, we don't have any losses, but if we did have losses, that could be an effect. And we saw that in different problems, how that plays out. We also have to consider, again, um, distributions when they're made. There's going to be another level of taxation for C corporations, but there's no plans to do that. And again, Let's assume here that they can that Mango can do this without gain, without hitting the accumulated earnings tax or any type of tax that you're penalized um, not distributing out your earnings. The idea here is if you take the difference between these two numbers, between the twenty one thousand and the thirty seven thousand, there's a sixteen thousand dollar tax savings by being a C corporation. Now the rates could change in the future. That's another thing. There's all sorts of other issues to worry about being a C corporation. And again, that double taxation, that second level of taxation, that's a huge one. That's a huge issue to consider. That's a huge issue to consider. Another way to calculate this, maybe a different way, because I like to show different approaches. All you had to do was just take the $100,000 amount and multiply that between or by the difference in the 37% rate, which is our sole proprietorship rate minus our 21% rate, which is our corporate rate. And you're going to get 16%. You take 100,000 times 16%, you're going to get $16,000. So another way to calculate it. So I just want to show you the effect of income and how sometimes C corporations can be very beneficial from an income standpoint. From a loss standpoint, we saw, again, our loss problems that there can be some um, issues there being a C corporation because you don't get the immediate benefit. It carries over to the future and you might be able to use it in the future, but it could continue to carry forward. And then present valuing that you might not get the same benefit as you would in the present year where, where if it's a sole proprietorship, a partnership, a S corporation, you're able to take that benefit, assuming there's no other loss limitations in the current year. So just keep in mind all those things, the use of income the, or the effect of income and looking at the different entities, C corporation, S corporation, LLC, or entities, taxes, partnerships, and also the effects of losses as well in that decision.